I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video, one that I've never done before. And it's a combination of my White Company dupes videos, which you guys seem to love, along with my thrifted charity shop, secondhand shopping side to my channel. I know I don't do that regularly enough for a lot of viewers here on my channel but to be completely honest with you I do struggle charity shopping I do still go and browse but I just find the prices that they price the items sometimes are far overpriced in my opinion for what they are and I just think they would do a whole lot better if they just reduce their prices people want a bargain when they go charity shopping so it is a bit of a treasure hunt you don't always get lucky every time you go with charity shops opening back up i had a browse i was successful and i managed to find quite a few items that were very much white company inspired i've just realized in the viewfinder look at all these symbols and letters all it is i say all it is all it is is a medium skinny decaf latte with caramel sugar-free syrup it's my new little healthy-ish treat midweek when i'm craving a sweet starbucks it's like my new go-to order anyway i'm going to pop this down for now so if you're new to my channel or new to the concept of my white company dupes video i like to go into stores homeware bargain stores in particular browse the shelves and basically find items that are very similar if not identical to white company style items because if you don't already know and if you can't already tell my home is very neutral very light and bright lots of whites and creams and I actually have a homeware account on Instagram Freya Farrington Home if you're interested in seeing more of my home so the style that I very much shop for my home is the white company and at the same time i also love a bargain this is hopefully a combination of those things that hopefully some of you guys watching can relate to and i hope you enjoy the first thing i want to note as well is this jumper is actually originally from the white company and it is also a thrifted find i always say thrifted i know that's american it's a charity shop find Someone's beeping outside. Okay, so before I went out shopping, I had a browse on the White Company's website just to get a bit of inspiration and get in the mindset of the sort of things that I was gonna be keeping my eyes peeled for. So I was very much thinking white vases, terracotta, glass items, candlesticks, and then I feel like they're kind of iconic for their heart-shaped items and then at Christmas star-shaped items as well. So that was sort of what I was envisaging. A lot of like rustic elements combined with modern as well. So bright whites and also earthy kind of textures, wooden finishes, rattan, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna start with home and then I'm gonna show you the fashion finds at the end of the video. I also know that I'm gonna get a lot of questions about where I go charity shopping. I live in a town north of Manchester near Burnley and Burnley is also the home of Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, Nasty Girl, their main big warehouses. So there's always loads of brand new in Boohoo items, all still with the labels on, usually all sample stock sizing, which is a size 10, which is for reference my size. So I do quite often see loads of that. So if you're maybe local to the area and you've never tried it, check it out. You never know what you might find. Anyway, the first item that I wanted to share with you is this gorgeous, rustic kind of farmhouse style wooden display bowl. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I found this. I still haven't decided what I'm going to use it for, where I'm going to house this, but I just couldn't resist picking this one up. I couldn't leave it. I'm thinking maybe it could be like a nice fruit platter bowl or it could be quite nice as a decorative piece, maybe styled up with um, a candle or reed diffuser, a couple of smaller linen books, that kind of thing. This was the bargain price of three pounds and yeah, I'm, I'm in love. Next up is actually a set of two items in that iconic heart shape that I was talking about. And they are little tea light holders in this really rich, creamy beige stone kind of neutral color that I just thought would look really nice. Maybe in the middle of a dining table. I like the idea of scattering a few little tea lights here and there 
and these little holders are perfect for that. So these set of two were priced at £1.50 and I think they're so cute, they're like a ceramic, there's no brand on it or anything so I can't tell where they're originally from but I just thought they were really, really pretty. Okay, next up I picked up this oval serving dish, which actually reminded me, I think it's the Portobello range. So that kind of oval shaped plate, serving plates, serving platters. I actually saw two of these in the charity shop that I went into from Morrison's originally. They were £1.50 each, so I just picked up the one for now. And this would be perfect for just a few little nuts and olives and tapas -y style nibbles to serve if you're hosting maybe. Um, but again, I quite like the idea of it as a decorative piece with maybe some potpourri in or something more of like a home fragrance type item. I'm not really sure. Let me know your suggestions on this. I also spotted this cute little vase or plant pot which has a kind of almost hammered misshapen effect which again is another design which I see quite a lot on the White Company. This one was only 75p and it's from probably one of my favourite charity shops in Burnley. It's called Lancashire First. They are located if you're local to the area right up at the top of Burnley where there is also an RSPCA and an Age UK and um, this one always seems to have so many bargain priced items you know the 25p 50p 75p all the under pound items if a shop has loads of them I'm a fan of that shop. I thought it would be really cute with a little succulent in it or maybe some dried are they called bunny tails or have I made that up? From that same shop, I also picked up this little wash bag and it's kind of like a waffle knit fabric, which I just thought was so nice. It's only 50p and I am gonna run this through the wash, but to be completely honest with you, it seems brand new. It is lined, perfect as a little makeup holder, makeup case, travel case. I also spotted this little candlestick holder. This was only 50p from that same shop and it reminded me of one of the candlesticks that they have on their website, which is in a white. So I thought one option could be to spray paint this white, um, but it's actually a really nice kind of marble texture. It's actually marble, like this is heavy. I actually am quite tempted to leave it raw, rustic, as it is, rather than spray paint it. And then last but not least, at 25p, I found this little like wicker hanging heart decorative piece. And it's still got the original label on it from Morrison's again. I actually think these are in store now though. So if you want one of these, I'm pretty sure I spotted something if not identical to this, very similar to this in Morrison's. Another thing that I like to do before going charity shopping is browse Pinterest, save a load of photos, like inspirational photos. And I remember coming across an image that was the White Company. It had like an outdoor garden area setting, table setting. There was loads of like wicker baskets, hanging wicker things, lanterns. So when I saw this, it reminded me of that. I thought it was so cute. If they had loads of these, then it'd be nice to sort of scatter things like this or mismatched ones in a table, or on a table I should say, in an outdoor setting because it's got that like wooden rustic finish to it. This one was £2.49. It's got a little glass holder here in the middle for um, popping a little tea light and obviously you can hang it as well. I just think little lanterns like this are so pretty for outdoors in particular so yeah love that in fact i even got a load of rattan outdoor set for um from aldi in my recent aldi dupes video next up i found this photo frame which being completely honest with you i thought was a little pricey for what it is because you can see on the back that it's originally from the range um it's this kind of white rustic frame i'm obviously going to take out what they've put on the inside and pop either a photo or um some kind of quote maybe i think would look quite pretty or print in here i like the rustic kind of element it's also a bit like neptune home vibes really really pretty but it was three pound fifty and i thought mm, for the range a photo frame three pound fifty in a charity shop was a little bit steep the last 
best homeware item is probably my favorite and i have spotted this before in the charity shop that i found it it was in northwest air ambulance and I spotted it ages ago and I thought it was overpriced for what it was. It's since been reduced. It was seven pounds and it's this really heavy mirror, but quite a small mirror. I first and foremost was sold to this with the texture of the actual frame itself. It's kind of like a stone effect. In fact, it might even be stone. It's very, very heavy, this. But I just loved the finish of it. I just thought it was so pretty. Love the creamy kind of colour. And I'm thinking this for like an aesthetically pleasing Instagram shot. You know those bed shots with like a little circular mirror or gold mirror with like someone on the bed taking a selfie in it? I thought this could be that kind of mirror. I don't know. Okay, coffee break. Woo! favorite time of the day right so that's everything that i got for home we're moving on to fashion and accessories because i did get a pair of shoes as well what i was thinking when going shopping for fashion even though i don't really own anything other than this from the white company that is fashion i did have an idea in my mind of what i was keeping my eyes peeled for obviously the neutrals the whites the light creams the grays that kind of color palette and i was looking out more for texture for linen style or linen itself before i move on to showing you the clothing i will show you this one pair of shoes that i picked up i'm not 100 percent sold on these but i'm going to try them on and see how they feel but they're this gorgeous uh, kind of straw woven design platform sandal maybe even without the buckle around here and if i were to get rid of these all you would do is just cut along here. It's like very easy to get rid of them. However, I'm not sure if I'd be able to walk in them. So I'm, I need to try them on, play around with them a little bit, make sure that I like them. But they're in a UK six. This is again, another brand new Boohoo item. These have never been worn. They were 3 dollars So this was another store. This is actually an Age UK store that again, seems to have some kind of relationship with Boohoo. Okay, finally moving on to clothing now. The first item that I got is white and it is 100% linen. So I was super happy to find this. It's originally from Jaeger. How much was it? Five pounds? Northwest Air Ambulance Charity Shop, five pounds in a size medium. Jaeger's a really good brand as well. So the fact that it's 100% linen, a good staple basic vest top like this, for me, I already know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of, so I'm super happy to find that. Yet again, from the same shop, another Jaeger item and it is this gorgeous 100% linen summer dress now this is a very simple design with the kind of square neck which I love a square neck I think it's so flattering and I love that and it's got a tie waist as well now this is in a couple of sizes too big for me but because of the tie waist I tried in store and you can cinch it right in so I figured because of that there's flexibility there and it doesn't really matter what size it is. So it's size 16, but it's a nice length, just sort of to the knee. The only downside really to this one is the price because it wasn't a mega bargain. It was 14 pounds, but it is a Jaeger dress in 100% linen. So I guess that's where they picked that price point out from. And again, that light gray, light gray, very white company. This next one was from Age UK and it was only 2 dollars in a small, originally from Zara. So a good little find. Again, another brand that I always like to keep my eyes peeled for. And it's just this kind of white blouse. It is double lined on the kind of body part, um, but it is a very simple design, which if anything, is more white company. The more simple it is, the more white company it is. And at only 2 dollars and it's Zara, which is probably my all-time favorite brand. So I picked this one up. Okay, the next three items actually are all brand new Boohoo stock. So I'm telling you, Burnley's a good place to shop for charity shop items if you're wanting brand new. This one is actually from Nasty Gal, but obviously the same brand, same warehouse. So quite often you get brand new um, Nasty Girl stock as well. This one is in a UK eight, 
which I'm a little bit like, oh, is it gonna fit? But hopefully it will. If not, I'll squeeze into it. This is a jumpsuit at £4.99, and it is in, again, that kind of linen blend fabric. It is in this creamy kind of colour. It's quite a wide leg jumpsuit all the way to the ground, and I just love the design of this. Very simple. I love a good jumpsuit, especially in summer when you just want something super simple, easy to just throw on, even if it's just an at-home day, but yet you look like you've got a really nice outfit and you look well put together. I also spotted these Boohoo jeans in a UK 10. They actually had a few pairs of these. Again, original Boohoo labeling on, and they were priced at £4.50. And I love this color denim for this time of year. For me, a cream kind of sand colored jean is a far more flattering than a stark white. On one leg, ugh, they've done a little turn up, which is how I would wear it. I just really like a turn up on the bottom of a straight leg jean. So yeah, really high-waisted as well, which I'm a big fan of because I never wear anything low-rise anymore. How much for these? £4.50, I already said that. Okay, moving on. This is actually the last thing that I've got now, which I'm kind of sad about, but it is brand new again, Boohoo X sample stock. In a UK 10, this is a two-part set, so it was priced at £7.99, and this gave me white company pyjama loungewear vibes. It's in like a waffle knit fabric in of course white <laughs> and it is a two part with a top like so like a really nice oversized tee which in itself would make for a really nice basic with denim denim jeans or shorts and then the bottom half is a high-waisted um again that same waffle knit with pockets as well nice little added detail there and it's kind of like a cuffed bottom. So it's not like a jogger style. This is definitely, I'd say, too thin to wear out and about. This is a loungewear piece for around the home. Comfy casual days, autumn vibes, which I'm kind of feeling at the minute with the bad weather. I don't know about you, but where we live, we've had quite a lot of rain recently. And that, together with my Starbucks, my candles lit in the background, is just making me feel very autumnal which is my favorite time of the year. So not that I'm willing the summer on, but I kind of secretly am. Anyway, that is everything that I picked up on this little white company inspired charity shop shopping trip. Do let me know if you'd maybe like to see another one of these, but maybe like I was thinking more along the lines of thrifting my Pinterest. So any outfits or homeware bits that I've recently saved on my Pinterest, I kind of take inspiration from that and go out and about charity shopping for items that I'm loving over on Pinterest. Maybe that could be my next charity shopping themed video. I also kind of want to do a rundown of easy items to thrift or to keep your eyes peeled for in charity shops. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if that sort of content interests you by giving this a thumbs up and letting me know in the comments below. Let's chat. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and keeping sane. I know we're kind of seeing a bit of normality coming back into our lives recently, which I'm so, so happy about. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.